Here are a few things to note when buying Bitcoin. It's not a good idea to borrow money via loans to invest in Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency. It's even a worse idea to purchase cryptocurrency with credit cards as they will charge you cash advance fees, which usually carry a higher interest rate. Next, don't invest money that you can't afford to lose. The majority of cryptocurrencies are not going to survive. If you're invested in a cryptocurrency that goes to zero, you're not going to get bailed out. You're not as lucky as banks or airlines. So make sure to conduct extensive research on the coins that you're looking at and be careful of recommendations that you find on social media. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you some easy tips for getting started in cryptocurrency trading. Tip number one, determine your crypto strategy. Before you decide to jump on the crypto bandwagon, you want to determine your strategy and your style of trading. Cryptocurrencies are great short-term and long-term investments. Those traders who focus on short-term investment are day traders and tend to stay in a position for a maximum number of hours and is a riskier proposition. With long-term investing, you don't need to watch the market every day. Tip number two, don't panic when prices drop. The cryptocurrency market is known for its unpredictability and those who decide to trade in the market can't panic when the value drops especially if your crypto strategy includes long-term investing. First-time investors who don't know how the market operates can make hasty decisions that they later regret. The best thing to remember is never base your trade decisions on fear or panic. Tip number three, choose a reputable broker. You want to pick a crypto company that is not only licensed, but one that is also trusted by traders. Every crypto company will have its own fees, and if you choose wisely, you could save a lot of money on your trades. You also have to be careful about the many scams and brokers that have a terrible reputation. Tip number four, don't fall for scams. When the cryptocurrency market was first starting out, there were numerous scams to be wary of. Cryptocurrency scams have similar signs which are easy to detect. Be careful of claims of incredible investment returns, opportunities for a limited number of people, and fully automated systems. Tip number five, know your financial options. With 1,000% gains, it can be tempting to invest everything you have in cryptocurrency. However, this can quickly turn into an issue. Since cryptocurrency is still relatively new, its future development is still somewhat uncertain. This means that as a crypto trader, you should only invest money that you can afford to lose. Today, we're going to talk about some rules. You know the 5% of traders who make it? You ever wonder how they do it? They follow fucking rules. Here's my set of rules. You can use them. I don't mind. Rule number one, and this is probably the most important rule there is. Be nice, motherfuckers. Nobody gets far in life being a dick. Rule number two is patience. Capital patience. How many times have you gotten into a trade early because you couldn't just wait? Because you didn't have patience? I've done it a million fucking times, okay? Patience is a very, very important rule. Rule number three is fuck the other guy. And I'm not talking about sticking your dick in his ass. Don't let other people's opinions shake your confidence. If you have a good trade setup, roll with that. Rule number four, and this is a personal preference, only leverage short-term day trades. Number five, don't compare yourself to others. This can lead to over-trading. Just stay at your own pace. Number six, know your market. This will help you learn when to take profits. Don't always be swinging for a home run because I promise over time you're going to leave way more on the table. Number seven, and this very well could be the most important rule, it's stick to your plan. Actually, for that matter, have a fucking plan. That means an entry plan, an exit plan, an exit plan for a take profit and for a stop loss and stick to that plan. HODL versus trading, which one is more profitable? So let's talk about HODL, the long-term strategy. So what is HODLing? HODL itself is a cryptocurrency slang which originated when a drunk Bitcoin talk user made a post where he misspelled hold in the face of falling Bitcoin prices back in 2013. HODL is essentially a long-term approach where you purchase and hold Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies without regard for the short-term fluctuations in price. It involves holding the investment for a long-term period or until another condition is met. 
This is the lowest effort and easiest strategy to adopt. It's based on the assumption that the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will see a rise in real value over the long term time period. This approach completely ignores short term volatility, which is an inherent feature of the cryptocurrency market. So the whole idea for hodling is to keep it simple, but not stupid. Despite its simplicity, hodling shouldn't be goalless. You might want to consider the following points. The first question is what cryptocurrencies are long term winners? As I've already touched on, most cryptocurrencies are probably going to collapse. Their solution might become redundant. Another cryptocurrency might do a better job. Critical members of the team might leave the project, etc. There's a million reasons why a cryptocurrency could fail and go to zero. If you're intending to hodl a cryptocurrency for the long term, you need to be confident about where you're putting your money and have a rationale for why it'll increase in value. Next, how are you going to invest? You have a few options to consider here. You could invest in chunks whenever you want, regardless of what the price is, AKA dollar cost averaging. You could determine price levels you'd be happy to buy into your cryptocurrencies at, AKA buy the dip. Or you could just set up automatic regular investments into your chosen cryptocurrency. Again, dollar cost averaging. You don't have to pick one path. You could do a combination of all of the above. Next, what are your conditions for pulling your money out? This is very, very important. When you invest money into anything, you likely have aspirations that it'll grow into real value. But when are you going to cash out and realize those profits? Are you going to cash out in five years, 10 years, or is there a specific price point where you'll cash out instead? You can also determine what percentage or fiat value you draw out under certain conditions. Your cryptocurrency investment could go the other direction too. If you're not prepared to lose all of your investment, then you need to set up a predefined market condition where you will exit. So let's ask ourselves, why might you hodl? Most people hodl if they don't have time or motivation to actively invest in cryptocurrencies and maybe they just want to easily gain some long-term exposure to projects that they care about. Maybe you just want to invest in some cryptocurrencies which you think have a strong long-term potential. Or maybe you just aren't confident in your technical analysis abilities and you have really no interest in learning how that works. So next let's talk about trading, the short-term strategy. So what exactly is trading. Trading is a short term approach where you're looking to maximize your returns and beat any gains which could be achieved just by holding. This is a high effort approach which can be time intensive. It embraces the volatility of the marketplace as price fluctuations offer the opportunity to profit from drastic changes in prices over short time periods. This is the opposite of the long term strategy, which I defined before, which looks to evade short term volatility. In order to trade, you need to have a level of technical analysis ability. You need a firm understanding of how the market works. You also need to put time into monitoring the market and searching for opportunities that you can take advantage of. Because at the end of the day, cryptocurrency markets are fast moving and always on. So the bottom line on hodling versus trading. If you don't have a lot of experience, you should enter crypto investing and or trading with caution. A conservative and cautious approach involves averaging slowly into positions and out of them. If you do this, you limit your risk. Remember, successful investing is all about managing your risk. Hodling is easy but has some serious logistical problems, especially for those who go all in at the top or who hodl through every all time high. Trading is harder and has more pitfalls to watch out for, but it'll set you on a path where you will be conditioning yourself to do what you'll need to do eventually. That is buy and sell at opportune times to realize profits over time. Given this, we can say that a slightly twisted version of hodl where you average into and out of positions is the most beginner friendly strategy. As one progresses in their journey, they're going to want to be able to trade effectively. 
it can make sense for even an inexperienced investor to ease into trading out of the gate. If you're going to trade, start off with small trades like less than 1% of your portfolio per trade and no more than a few trades per week. Make sure to use stop losses and start learning about technical analysis. If you can get down the basics like how to tell a bear market from a bull market and what sort of targets you're looking for to take profits or to buy, you will start approaching a point where a buy and hold everything only strategy will likely no longer be your best choice. That is to say, almost every cryptocurrency investor will benefit from refining both a long-term hodl strategy and a shorter-term trading strategy.